In this video, we're doing the ratio test for absolute convergence. And let's do an example. Let's remember that when we do rho, if rho is less than 1, it converges. If rho is greater than 1, it diverges. If rho is equal to 1, it's inconclusive. So this one says, test the given series for absolute convergence. The key word there is absolute. So the first thing we want to do is we want to consider taking the absolute value of this. If we take the absolute value of that, then what we're looking at really is k cubed over 3 to the k. Well, so we're going to do the ratio test. So the first thing we need to do is find the next term. So that would be k plus 1 cubed over 3 to the k uh, plus 1. And then we're going to need to multiply by the reciprocal of the original, which would be 3 to the k over k cubed. Well, we can rewrite 3 to the k plus 1 as 3 to the k times 3 to the 1 allowing us to cancel out the 3 to the k's. Now what we have is um, we have a 1 third times a k plus 1 cubed over a k cubed. Now I wrote it that way uh, for a particular reason. If we now take the limit as k approaches infinity, uh, notice since those are both k cubed, we can think of it as one third k plus one over k cubed. That's going to allow us to think of it as one third of one plus one over k cubed. Now, that's important because if I think of it that way, limit as k approaches infinity, we have one third one plus one over k cubed. When we go to infinity, the one over k, that's a low high, so that portion becomes zero. One plus zero cubed times one third gives us an answer of one third. Since one third is less than one, this series converges absolutely. And let's see if we can do one more. So in example two, test the series for absolute convergence. Again, absolute is telling us we should think about taking the absolute value of this. Well, if we take the absolute value of it, then now we're looking at 1 over 2k factorial. We need the next term, so that would be 1 over 2 times k plus 1 factorial. And now we can go ahead and multiply that by the reciprocal, which is 2k factorial over 1. Well, if we think about this part here as 2k plus 2 factorial, we can then write 2k plus 2, 2k plus 1, 2k factorial, thus allowing us to cancel out the 2k factorials. So now we've got the limit as k approaches infinity of 1 over 2k plus 2, 2k plus 1. That's going to be a low high, so low high is always 0. 0 is less than 1, so this series also converges absolutely. 